In the previous episode, we lost and took back Sanala. Vlandi declared war and were once again at war with all three kingdoms. We took Oscar from Kazate, took feasts from the Aserai, but began losing to the Kazate. We forced peace with Aserai, ignored the Kazate, and went to push Vlandia. After peace with Vlandia, we began taking land from Aserai again. Oh, Turby's being attacked. Jeez. All right, we got to get back there. Probably won't get there in time, if I had to guess. And it looks like Regea took Ostakin. Oh, that's that's a big army. That's a legit one. Can we get there? It's so close. Oh, man. We just got it. 114 left. We're going to completely smash these guys. Yeah, 54 losses. Most of them are probably militia. So many nobles. Holy cow. And we replenished a lot of losses. Thank you for that. Right, let's drop prisoners off if we can. We cannot. We'll go to revolt. Our right, Erzner is being sieged. So that means they are actually pushing in the south. Yeah, that's a lot of nobles. Right, let's go to Ox Hall. I'm hoping they don't have a ton of nobles that are just going to jump inside. They are. Yeah, we need to... They're all over the place, though. It's it's going to be hard. Actually, there's only two. We got it with only two. Yeah, they were, they're kind of swarming the area. Right, this one, I think we have to do the full siege. They build them faster than we can take them out. There we go. We got them. We could wait until we get the walls. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yeah, let's just take the walls down. We're almost there. Now, the other question is, do we want to drain the garrison? 287. There's only 33 recruits, so the rest of them are, are pretty high tier. Yeah, swordsmen, footmen, sergeants, so they're they're pretty high tier. Problem is, it's four days. So four days plus another two or three to actually starve them out to the bottom. Probably is not worth it. I think we just have to go. Now, unfortunately, one of our companions is on the, the trebuchet and he just friendly fired. <laughs> we're actually even in kills, which is kind of scary. All right, we're, yeah, we're still even. This is bad. No, nope, we're down in kills now. There's nothing we could do, though. They don't have archers on the walls. So, like, what are we going to do? We, we can't outshoot them. They're behind their walls. There we go. We broke through somewhere. There we go. We're over 100 kills ahead. Yeah, it's going to be pretty heavy losses, but kind of expected for a big battle like this with that big of a garrison. We can always go back and replace troops on the way back to fight Aserai or Kazate, so it is what it is. Oh, nice. We don't have to do a keep battle. So 139 losses. That's the most we've had in, in quite a while, actually. But it's in our control now. Let's go ahead and heal. Yeah, we're more than half our army's injured. Let me guess, Regea. Yep. We don't even show up on the boat. Most of the healing's done. I think we can head out. And this guy is our horse archer. We'll put the final point into writing. So he's capped on these. We can start pumping up his leadership or tactics. Probably leadership. That looks like a small army. We don't want that to be roaming around. Let's see if we can catch him. Two army. Three armies. What the hell? Let's let him back out. They're going to get caught doing stupid things. Look at that. All these guys. They're going after like little rinky dink parties and they got caught. This AI is so bad. Just pure doggy doo doo. I'm not complaining though. It's helping us out. We helped Regea. Hopefully she sees the goodness again and she can start giving us some beefs. We haven't gotten a fief in quite a while. Well, man, what's the point of simping if we don't give us a little, like, some scraps or something? We just want the scraps. All right, that's handled. Let's go to... I guess we just go to the, the close stuff. I, I was going to say we can just do all the towns, but I'm hoping we have enough time to just clean sweep them. We may not, but I'm hoping. All right, they're going to get... Yeah, there's no way we get everything up in time we have to do. We have to siege. Now, I'm going to try this with just two. Because we do have 275, so we should be doing more damage, faster attack speed. Maybe we can take over sooner. Yeah, that's the case, actually. All right, everything's down. We're going to have to fight a keep battle in this. I think we lost more in the keep battle than the actual battle. It's kind of stupid. Let's drop off who we, whoever prisoners we've got. They're ticking... Talavo, that's good news. I think we go... Oh, no, no, no. They're sieging Turbink. Hopefully we can get there in time. Oh, forget. Oh, no, she didn't help. It's a pretty sizable army, actually. I was thinking they didn't have much left, but they're still able to field a pretty big army, even though they're in free fall. Let's drop prisoners off at Revolt. Regea's taking more fiefs. <laughs> so we'll go drop end, prop end, and then we'll take... They've really only got three or four left. I I'm... They better not vote for peace, man. I'm going to be so annoyed if they vote for peace. All right, here's another army. They're going to go siege something down. Let's take this quickly, and then we can go back and defend. 
Can we get it with just one ram? No, we can't. But we can at least do it with two trips instead of all, all four. Yeah, we're gonna go. At least they try and defend their walls when the walls aren't taken down. When you don't punch the holes in them. Yeah, they, they just lost a fourth of their defenders. I just realized I messed up. Should have built the siege towers as well. We had time. That would have saved some losses for sure. Whoops. All right, now did they take something back? They're trying to take barracks down. It's probably that army that just formed. So can we get there in time? Man, 600. I'm telling you, we, we just destroyed so many of their armies. They just have so many people. But I mean, we're catching them, so that's good. It's just crazy how they can field so many troops. How many they could feel so many nobles we've taken so many and put them in prison but no matter how many there's always more let's drop off prisoners all right now for the tough one we got to take provind actually can we catch these no they're gonna do it too fast they're getting greedy and they're trying to take out anything that they can how do they have so many nobles man they must be all escaping from from captivity because this is kind of crazy man we've taken so many in prisoner and there's like 50 right here yeah this is why i love that perk combination where you can just hold people permanently because you get crap like this it's just so obnoxious there's three parties they've got troops but i see recruit recruit mostly recruit with a couple tier two um cavalry mostly recruits this should be no big deal it's the garrison that's the problem it's all right we'll do what we can I'm tempted to leave the walls up and see if they actually do what they're supposed to do. Because the problem I've noticed when you punch holes in the walls, nobody goes down the middle. It's just they shove everything down those two holes in the wall. And then the ram will go bust, bust the, the wall down and they won't even try and punch through. Whereas this way, we'll at least have a third point of entry. So let's see if that helps. But man, it's pretty annoying. Come on, boys. Do your duty. They have three times as many numbers as we do, unfortunately, because they have defenders advantage on the siege. They also have more troops than we do overall. Absolutely have to have high casualty rates here. And it looks like we are so far, but the melee hasn't started. This looks really good. Yeah, we're starting to get some casualties, but it's still significantly lopsided in our favor. All right, we do need reinforcements at some point. Come on, game. There they go. Yeah, the reinforcement system for sieges is kind of screwing us here. We're getting down to like 100 troops. How can you how can you siege a thing with a freaking 100 troops? We're getting hosed by that by the reinforcement system we got another spurt we're still convincingly in the lead but we shouldn't be getting down to 100 troops like we have we brought over a thousand to the battle let us have a couple please it's like the game caps us at 200 even though the enemy has doesn't have any more either that doesn't make any sense to me all right well we lost only 75 that's actually less than i thought we would lose so pretty good overall our wife got 11 kills Durngil got 11 it's pretty good all right, no losses on the keep battle. Overall, I'd say that was a pretty successful battle. We do need to hire some troops soon, I think. I don't know if we have enough to do it without doing that. Oh, we got to go defend again. Can we get there? Another 600. No surprise. No surprise. All right, 21 losses. Talabal is ours. They're down to two fiefs. We have to close this out. We have to. We cannot allow them to get another foothold. No, 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 no peace, dude. No peace. What the hell are you doing? Don't, why would you do it, man? Oh, Rigga is not going to get this one. We could vote it for her. This guy doesn't have any fiefs, though. Poor guy. Yeah, he needs he needs a little help. He's got, like, two castles and not much else. We have 22 hours. I don't think we can even get the siege camp up in 22 hours, but let's see. Nope, we can't. You freaking idiots, man. They're literally, they're dead. They're literally dead. If we just went to... <laughs> and they did it for 700 dinars per day it wasn't even like they were gonna pay us a bunch of money it's freaking 700 so funny i mean it's fr it's it's frustrating but it's also kind of funny like do you want two fees or do you want a tiny tiny amount of money no we'll take the money we'll take the tiny money all right so this guy's gonna get plus five party size we're starting to get some good perks now we need to recruit back up a little bit let's just go town to town get some mercenaries on the way back now the rules specifically state we can't mess with peace deals can't force peace didn't say anything about war so what i'm gonna do is i'm tired of this to be honest i'm getting kind of tired of this campaign we're gonna spam boats drain their influence it's gonna take a really long time but i'm gonna do it and then we're gonna force war with Valandia. we're gonna finish them off and then move on to the other two i mean don't get me wrong it was fun for a while but now it's it's at that point where they're just making really stupid decisions 
Okay, as soon as we go to the other side of the map, we all know what's going to happen. Bland is going to declare war. They're going to take like five fiefs by the time we get back. We're going to have to retake them and then deal with 20,000 little parties running around. So I'd rather just knock them out right now. If they're starting to run out of people to vote with, there's only three on here. All right, one guy dropped off. We just got to get Temian down. Temian, he's got 3k in the bank still. So yeah, this is going to take a little while. He reduced his vote. But he still has 3,000. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. All right, maybe we'll vote on something he's a little more passionate about. Temia, there we go. Now he's voting with the full strength. So he really wants to keep road tolls enact. Just stupid because it reduces your town prosperity. All right, so road tolls is gone. Yeah, there's no other policies that we want to mess with. So let's just go back to doing these. But 42, we're going to have to burn through 2,500 influences. That is a doozy. Now he really wants this war to keep going for some reason. So that one we can drain him a little faster. Rigae spends a little less. All right, he's down to a thousand. She's down to four hundred. So ten more votes. Well, he'll probably reduce his once he gets down to like five hundred or six hundred. But either way, we're almost there, and it only costs us about two thousand of our influence to do it. Lovely. All right, now he's the only one. Let's see what this looks like. All right, we can get it past Rigae. Stop voting. So time for war. We bought all the food out from this place. We made sure there was nobody in. There's nobody in the town. So we're just going to immediately go right to it. So they can't do anything. They're just they're stuck outside. I guess they can form an army, but I don't think they will. They look like they're just running around. And it did seem to work pretty well when we left the siege towers up. So maybe we'll do that again. We cleared it out. There's only 355. Like, who cares? This, this place is a, a ghost town compared to what we've been attacking. The next one's going to be the hard one, though. The castle, not because it's a castle, but just because it's the last one. So it's going to have a ton of nobility in it just sitting there. There we go. No keep battle. We lost 11 troops. How's that for taking a town? Right, we'll get some pikemen. Let's sell a few things. They don't have any food, so we'll drop some of our food off that we bought from them. We'll be generous. And now for the hard part. See, they're, they're all just going to go swarm. Well, there's only two. No... There's four. It's okay. We have to do it. Uh, I want to do it before they decide to form an army and start taking stuff. We're going to do this one faster. We'll go with just two siege engines. And I hope that's enough firepower. Yeah, it is. Man, they're building fast though. All right, what do we got here? Sabir. So we took Sabir. Oh, we, they gave us Godland. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, Lavinia is being sieged. It's probably Vlandia. So we need... No, no, no. It just... It just blipped off. Did it? Did they take it? Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. They're giving us Sibir as well. Oh, they better not have taken that freaking castle because that means they're going to do the same thing. We're going to have to take a huge amount from them. No, they don't. Okay, good. It's just the one. Okay, sweet. That scared me. All right, let's do it. Even if they have a huge army sieging, doesn't matter. If they don't have any fiefs, they have no kingdom. So I really just want this to them to be over. And yeah, we are crushing them. Okay, the middle's wide open, guys. Why are we not... There they go. That was weird. Actually, no, those are just the archers. No, they sent them in. The AI is still a little funky on the sieges. A lot of times, they just don't do what they're supposed to do. This one seemed okay. We're taking heavy losses now. Jeez, Louise. What is going on? We're getting hosed by the reinforcement system on this, I think. We've been at like 100 troops for half the battle. But that's okay. We got it. We're going to have to fight a small keep battle. 106 losses. That's heavy, but... We're going to go back through our own territory anyway, so we can recruit back up. It's not a big deal. You know, we can show mercy. This is the last one. They're done. So there goes Vlandia. They're out. Vlandia is no more. And I think what we'll do is we'll deal with Asurai next. If we take out Asurai, and again, we can control the war at least, we should be fine. Look at how beautiful that is. Regea's map. <laughs> she owns so many thieves. On guard, they're going to give that to us? No, they aren't. Sabir, yeah, our town's getting sieged. We can't do anything about it. We just have to let them do what they want, and then we'll come in later and deal with it. So we'll pick up as many mercenaries on the way as we can. Our army is still in decent shape, but, you know, we're short like three, almost 400 troops. So if we can pick up a few more without having to go all the way back home, that would be, be kind of nice. We're going to have to rely on mercenaries, though. Or we could just... No, you know, let's just go this way. Did we max out? No, we didn't. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we could hire somebody else. So let's let's grab this guy. Seems like he'd be a good frontliner. So we'll throw him on the front line. 
Actually, why don't we give him a mace? There we go. We got another companion. So again, we'll stop at a couple towns down on the way. Another 275. There we go. Zanya Willowbark, that's our second. So three out of the five. Yeah, three, we got a bunch of people escaping, but they'll be dead soon anyways. But yeah, three out of the five, they have the perk. So now sieging these castles and towns should be a little bit easier. We got super troops. Okay, Takor Castle. So they took Sabir. They're taking Takor. We don't even want Takor. But I can't really be bothered to stop to get rid of it. Here we go. Final stretch. We got to take out a few of these guys. Uh, a few of their castles. And then we can we can put the herd on them. They're building too fast for us though. We'll take the walls down anyways. Just in case they take it right back. We can immediately go in. Looking good. We lost 19. It's kind of a lot for the size of a battle. But... I think we have more than enough to keep rolling through them. But now we're probably going to lose a bunch on this one too. Nope. Actually, we didn't. Nice, we got some upgrades out of that. And we'll pillage it again. Yeah, the Siege Workshop goes down. That'll help if we lose it. I don't think we'll be losing stuff anymore. The Asurai are mostly spent, but I might be eating those words. Oh. Okay, that's where they are. I didn't realize they were taking half of our freaking kingdom on this side. So, it's okay. We'll take their homelands. Taking the homelands is going to hurt them quite a bit more. Because this stuff's already developed and hasn't been touched in a long time. The other stuff is recent conquest. It's going to be in pretty rough shape. Severe rebelled. Yeah, this is going to be a costly battle. Not as bad as the other one, though. They've got 700. Yeah, we already burned through them. That wasn't bad at all. 36. May not even have a keep battle. No, we don't. So that's it. 36 losses in total. That is acceptable. Here we go. This is our archer. Oh, and our... Yeah, he's... He's already maxed on everything though. I guess we just put in his stuff he won't use. But And then same thing with this guy. I guess he's got a two-hander. Ayaki's... They don't want it to go to us. Well, on the bright side, when we get up north, all the stuff that they've been conquering, it's going to be pretty weak. So we just have to push through this. This is the hardest part. He's still with Asteride. That's not going to work. That is absolutely not going to work, man. We want to clean them out. This one should be pretty easy, I think. Nice. No keep battle. 40 losses. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it is pretty costly, but I said it's kind of expected with these feasts. Now let's head over to Hubyard. They'll probably have a peace deal for us. The unfortunate thing is, as soon as we go to peace with these guys, we're going to have to release all the prisoners. We're going to have to fight them all over again. All right, let's see what we can do. I think if we can just get the siege engines done, get them out, we can probably start. We don't have to knock the walls down. I just don't want to get stuck with a bunch of onager. All right, this peace deal is getting dragged out, it looks like. All right, this one. Okay, that's it. All right, we can do it, actually. Wow. We can do it. They have a lot of defenders, so this is not going to be easy. Oh, man. But it's better than... Yeah, it's better than dealing with another freaking peace deal and having to fight full armies. We're not even defending the walls. Yeah, this is going to be a nasty fight, man. This is going to be rough. We're not quite two to one. No, we're losing it now. We actually might lose this. This might actually be a loss. We're losing a significant amount of troops. Yeah, we're losing more than them. We have to catch back up or we got to back out. We're behind by 100, which is horrible. We're behind by 200. So we're going to burn our entire army on this. Unless we can somehow start getting kills. What are they doing, man? There's no way that's legit. All right, they're like jumping off a wall or something. Like, how can we die 50 people in a row without getting a single kill? There's something going on. 100% there's something going on. This game is so infuriating sometimes. They've got another choke point right here. We've got... Why do we have all recruits, though, man? They just have a better army than we do, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> the guy went flying. I don't think it's possible to turn this around. Yeah, we got to retreat. Let's heal our wounded, and maybe we'll still be at war with them. Probably not. So we, we busted the walls down. Yeah, there's an army of over 1,000 outside. We have only 800. So we have to do it. We have to take this town. Let's leave this one manually. We got to do something here because this is not working out. That's absolutely not where I told you to go. What the hell are they doing, man? I gave them a move command to go right there. I really don't know what the AI is doing here. All right, we're probably going to get killed by our own trebuchet, but there may not be anything we can do about it. All right, let's draw some of them out. Now would be a good time to move in. There we go. We'll give them the charge command. We'll get it. Sandwich them out here. We just got to draw them out a couple times like that. Whittle them down. Uh, we can win this. We can definitely win this. But man, that siege was freaking brutal. We're dominating them. They only have like 500. So we don't have to kill 
an entire army. We just need to kill half of what they had before. All right, let's back out. Oh, they're coming back out again. <laughs> Not advisable, but much appreciated. Squeeze them out and then collapse on them, and then we'll squeeze them out, collapse on them, and repeat until they're all gone. Let's pull them back out. The archers will pound on them for a bit. Right, they don't want to come out anymore, so if we can squeeze them out. Right, they're starting to run. All right, they have very low tier troops left, so I think we just push in. Let's go ahead and give our archers the charge command as well. We'll just flood the walls. I think we just flood. Yeah, they're, they can't stop us. Okay, that was much easier than what happened last time. <laughs> we'll just say we were farming medicine XP, I guess. Yeah, anytime we fail and lose a bunch of people, we'll just blame it on that. So for sure, they're going to have a keep battle because they were retreating pretty early. But we lost only seven that time. That's a huge difference. Yeah, didn't lose any on the keep battle. Oh, they don't want to do peace. <laughs> I was going to say, we could actually take the peace and go rebuild our army because it's pretty much trash at this point, but they don't want it now. So we're going to have to defend, which is fine. We'll sacrifice some troops to get in wherever it is that we end up. And then we'll just have to do that. We'll follow them. All right, let them commit. They don't want to commit. All right, they're coming back. I think they want to do Hobiar, so we'll let them do Hobiar. Do your thing. And while they're preparing that, can we catch this guy? Of course, he doesn't have a movement penalty. Right, they should start the assault pretty soon. There they go. Actually, we're not going to break in. We just auto resolve outside. This is no big deal. Yeah, 111, mostly militia. Oh, wow, that's huge. Look at how freaking beefy this armor is. Body armor, 18 and 15. This thing is 63, 30, and 31. That's insane. That is a huge upgrade. Not that we need the armor. I mean, it doesn't really do us that much good, but we'll take it. Oh, we're low on troops, but we don't really have an option. We have to keep fighting. Another 500. We'll fight to the last. Oh, another asteroid army down. They're going to run out of troops pretty soon, I think. Wow, we got a kid that's 14 years old. We're going to be able to use our kids, I think. We got only four years left. We're going to need more troops, though. This is going to get increasingly more difficult. Yeah, we should be able to take this. If we have to destroy our army, and that means that we only have one more enemy left, that's totally worth it. I'm fine with that. We'll spend a month or two just rebuilding. All right, they keep giving us castles in the north. We don't really want them, but... I don't really want to slow down and give them back either, because at this point it doesn't really matter. It's a pretty easy battle, actually. Yeah, considering this thing hasn't been touched since the beginning of the game, we're only going to lose the round 20. Alright, no keep battle. We lost 23. I highly doubt we have enough to take Rezi, but I guess we can see. And why are they giving us castles in the north? Like, we're taking all this stuff down here by ourselves. We should be first on the list. They're giving us stuff up in the Sturgeon territory. We're not even near there. It's not near any of our thieves. Hobiar has been sieged. We got to get back. Crap, they have siege engines up already. Oh, that's a another legit army. Dude, they have so many troops. It's kind of crazy. But uh, they're going to probably siege now. Yep, 900 they want to go. We can easily do this with the help of the garrison, but we'll take it. 145 loss, pretty heavy. Oh, nice. We got 50. So we're going to regen most of our troops, I think, because they had captured troops from something. Some pretty good armor in there. Yeah, we'll get upgrades for our companions. All right, now can we go to Rosie? And yeah, we can. This is the last one that they have that hasn't been completely demolished. We're going to have to cancel. Uh, maybe not. They're going to go siege down the castle we just took. Yeah, we have to. Let's just follow them. I already know they're going to do it. Oh, they got the field battles. <laughs> yeah, I get clapped. And we got troops out of that. That's nice. Mastercraft Southern Scale. No, it's not that good, actually. All right, let's try it again. Now, this one, we're going to take the walls down 100%. Our army is too weak right now. We have to get every advantage that we can. So this should be fine. Actually, the, looking good so far. Yeah, it looks like we're we're just punching straight through. It seems like they set up pretty good kill boxes or kill zones off their walls. Like they'll set up archers in a spot where you create a, a log jam and then a shield wall to, to stuff your guys. I know we ran into that a couple times. The AI seems to be pretty good at doing that. Yeah, we're I mean we're taking heavy losses here, but it's not a surprise. This is the less strong thief. They do still have Huss and Folk, but that one's been captured and recaptured many times. All right, keep battle. We got 60 losses. It's like almost 10% of our army, unfortunately, but not much we can do about it. I actually wouldn't mind a peace deal at this point if if they vote for one. I think we just let it go. All right, Temna. I guess we just keep going. We'll squeeze them out. Make sure they didn't come back here and sneak something. I don't think so, though. No, we don't have anybody in our backfield. We've got a rebellion up there, but we're... Pretty much taking that back. That's fine. 
And the Kazates are... Yeah, the Kazates are actually moving in pretty far. They've done some damage up here for sure. But once we get them 1v1, it's pretty much going to be game over. Oh, they still don't want us to have it. All right, let's see how beat up Tamna is. Yeah, it's, it's pretty beat up. Actually, I think this one we could probably just do the Ram. Yeah, they've only got one Catapult. This is... This should be no problem. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? In two shots, they killed 61 people. Well, not killed, but 16 people dead. What were they? Were they archers? They were just standing there? No, it was our melee. But good thing the angles on this one are pretty hard for them to, to really hit. We might have even better to just not do the ram. They wouldn't have even had a shot. I think we would have moved in close enough. That's the thing with the Asurai. Their castles are really easy to defend. Because the setup, I guess the bad part is their siege equipment doesn't have good angles. So maybe it'd be better just to make a bunch of ballista, even though they're not as good taking out siege equipment. Maybe that's something to consider. Now I want to start working my way over here to Lavinia. We want to kick them out. And also, if we can defend that, that would be kind of nice. Although it doesn't seem like they're... I think they've been sieging that for quite a while. All right, let's try it. Let's try no, no ram if it goes better. Because we might be able to get underneath the range before they even get a shot off. Nope, they just got a shot off. But they're in... Pretty costly. Yeah, this is costly, man. That Onager is just wrecking us. I bet you almost all those kills were Onager. Right, we lost 19. Yeah, it is what it is. So we got our Empire Fief back at least. Tamna's being sieged. We gotta get there. Yeah, 400. We can do that. So 12 losses on that. That's pretty easy. Actually, no losses because we're gonna get all of those troops back. Some of our companions are getting really low. We need to boost them back up. Oh, nice. We're on the, the vote for it. She gave it to Bagarios. <laughs> The lack of foot massages is disturbing to her, apparently. Yeah, they're kind of preoccupied up there. I think we just keep pushing. If we can knock everything out with Asurai, then we can spend some time rebuilding our army. And then we just do a final push and end the game. Okay, so Willowbark. Yeah, we're doing leadership. She's actually getting pretty good leadership, too. You know, let's just slow down a little bit. We have hardly any troops left to spare, so I think we just do this. Especially, we've got some tough battles coming up. Tuckhor is being sieged. I don't care. 